How's it going, everybody? This is the Speaking of Harmony podcast, and this is episode four. Ready on with four episodes. I'm doing that every day. Uh, thank you so much for everybody who's commenting and giving me feedback. It's been great, and I'm going to try to keep doing that every single day, especially in these weird times you're living in. Huh? Um, before I go to the subject of today, please subscribe to the channel. That helps a lot. You know, to the YouTube channel and subscribe to the podcast in audio format on Spotify. iTunes should be soon, uh, should be available really soon. They're under review now, but it's going to be available everywhere. There are podcast formats. But uh, subscribe to the channel on YouTube. It's going to help a lot. Activate the little bell thing, notifications. Uh, this is all my social media stuff if you want to follow me. Thank you so much for the feedback. Well, today, this thing I played has a very interesting progression that I use all the time as well. And that's something that I really enjoy doing. Um, it's just something I was messing around for a while, like years ago, and then I was just trying to find ways to navigate through changes and um, sort of arriving or uh, resolving them in unexpected ways, right? And I kind of found out a specific one that I really like to do. And man, there's so many songs that have this specific pathway so I can use it, uh, especially Brazilian standards, Brazilian bossa nova and samba and all these songs. I'm gonna show you exactly what it is, right? I was playing this song by Antonio Carlos Jobim, Água de Bebê, right? The water to drink, I guess, in drinking water or something like that in English. Um, so basically, the, here's the deal. When you are in a minor key, right? In this case, we're in B minor. There are mo certain moments where we sort of like do this progression that leads into the third degree, which is gonna be major in this case, right? So if you're in uh, B minor, right? The third degree is gonna be D major, right? So on the song it goes. Uh, so we, we land here on the third degree, in this case D major, right? So before that, we do this progression where E minor, A7, then we end, we land on the third degree, right? You can like analyze this in different ways. You can think of that as a, a subdominant, like a fourth degree, but definitely this is the fifth, the five of the three, right? Or you can think of it as a, a little you know, block of a two, five to the third degree, right? So that's a very common progression that happens you know, all these tunes going to the third degree, which is the relative major, right? In the minor key. B minor, uh, D major, right? So, uh, right, so we land here. I was always intrigued and uh, curious about how I can use voice leading, as I have been saying, to take me to different places, to, to um, cause some kind of surprise and to kind of drift apart from that place and still kind of retain some of these qualities, but give a little different color, some different colors, which is what I'm looking for all the time. And here's what I found. I, I usually resolve this in like three or four different ways. I'll show you. One thing that's mostly common, you can alter the uh, fifth of that chord, just like a major uh, seventh uh, sharp five sound, which is commonly used, right? Everybody does that, so. You know, a bunch of people do that and it's beautiful, right? Another thing you can do, which is just I'm gonna progress into the one that I'm talking about, right? Another one that is really cool is that if you alter the root of that third degree, you alter the root up a half step, right? Then you're gonna get a borrowed third degree from the minor. Right? Uh, so, how about that? Right? So, D sharp minor 7, or E flat, however you want to call it, is the third of B major. 
right? I'm borrowing that chord here, so I'm basically altering um, the root of the third degree up a half step, and then I have a minor seven chord, right? So instead of using D major, I can use D sharp minor or E flat minor, whatever you want to call it, right? So play the chords again. quite a different um, sound it's very interesting and uh, again so many Brazilian tunes have that progression already embedded in the song right I can quote a bunch but um, skip for that for now and I can still resolve back into I can actually do the whole route and resolve into D so I can go right see I'm doing see what I'm doing the voice leading here internal voice it's I'm always there I'm always looking at the voice leading how the voice are moving but right so sharp one in the third degree and then I got a different chord right so you can do that uh, but then here's the chord that I am talking about this specifically right it's an interesting chord because basically you're also borrowing a chord from the major key. It's a, a sixth degree, but it's, it's borrowed from the major key. If I am in B minor, the third degree is G major. But if I'm in B major key, the sixth degree is G sharp, right? G sharp minor. So here's what I'm gonna play instead of playing D major. I'm gonna play this chord and see how it sounds. Uh, I love the resolution. See how I use that, the melody as a sort of a gateway into getting into that chord. So instead of doing or, or I'm doing woo, all these cool resolutions you can get, and it's beautiful. And I can even continue and re, and then pass and go through the actual sixth degree, which is half step um, above or below. Sorry, below the G sharp. So going to G major. So I can kind of continue that alternate path I had. So. sharp minor G major so I use that melody as a gateway into a separate alternate progression which sounds so cool right right so that progression happens in so many tunes so it means you can have that spot to put that alternate thing you know I can think of so many songs that can use that let's say um, a famous one here in, in, in US right Black Orpheus right the famous Black Orpheus um, right? I'm playing G minor instead of A minor right for the sake of the example The famous third degree, right? Again, two five of the third, right? Then let's apply all those all resolutions, right? Sharp fifth, right? Sharp five over here, still in the same chord, right? Alter it third degree, alter the root up, then you have B minor, right? Then that's the bomb, right? That's the chord that I love. Six degree borrowed from G major, right? Woo! See? See how cool that sounds? If 
I can continue voice leading, right? Because the song goes like this. Right? We go into the subdominant, right? So I can go leading tone, going to the subdominant. I can still go there where I was, from where I was. I just have to use voice leading. Here you go. See what I did? I went to E, then I did it. Supposedly F diminished, but I'm still... It's just an inversion, right? It's symmetrical. So B diminish is the same as F diminish. So it's the same chord. So I can go and res resolve that into C minor. And from here, I can resolve C minor here in the, in the second version, the fifth in the bass. So, see? See? Man, I'm telling you guys, voice leading, voice leading is the key all the time. You got that? You got the tip? The... Right. Granted that the melody has to be on our side. The melody has to help. When you land on that third degree, if the melody is on the third, which in all these cases it is, then it's like no brainer. You do it and it's gonna sound great, right? On this case, right? On the other song, Jobin song. See, the melody's on the third. When that happens, man, boy, you can do it like. See, another one from Jobin that it's really great to use that too. I, I have that. Actually, I record an arrangement of this one I'm about to play. Lamento no Morro. Do not conf confuse that with Lamentos do, Mo do, Mo do Morro, which is a different song, uh, which I also play. But Lamentos no Morro. Lamento no Morro is a song by uh, Jobin and Vinicius de Moraes from the same set of songs of Black Orpheus, by the way. The same musical show. You can check it out. This is called Lamento no Morro, and there's also the same spot happens. I'm gonna link the video description in the video description, the link of me recording the, the this song, so you can check it out. All these cool sounds that I did there. So the song is uh, the song then we go he go last episode huh? the herby thing right here see see how everything is connected but here we go to the point Here we have A minor, which is the key we are in, right? Then to five to the third degree, C major, right? Then here, see what I'm gonna do. See, I did. Instead of going to C major, which is what I expected, I went to the sixth degree borrowed from the major. I went to F sharp minor, right? So I did. See? Ooh, that's super cool hit, man. I love this thing. I just came up with this stuff the other, you know, few years now and I have been using all the time and just kind of expanding it and finding different ways to arrive uh, in that place um, super cool right so to make it practical for you guys just remember whenever you are landing in the third degree right in a minor key and you're landing in the third degree uh, instead of playing that that chord just play a minor chord uh, a triton away from it that's the pra the most practical tip from that I can give you so we 
be landing in the third degree, which is a C C. Just play a minor chord a triton away. Either way, down or up is the same triton, right? So it's F sharp. So if you're going to C, you play F sharp minor. If you are in um, you know in that case in that first song from Jobin, if the chord is D major, we're going to G sharp minor. See? That's the tip, man. That's the thing. That's the sound. I love that sound, and I have been using it for, you know, I don't know how long. So I hope you like that. Like again, I hope you enjoy. Give me feedback on what you want to hear, uh, suggestions on what you want me to talk about. I'm just kind of talking about things I like, and being really open about it. And you know, whatever I'm practicing that day. Sometimes I was practicing today, and then like I did this thing. I was like, oh, let's talk about that, right? Whatever I can get, um, that you know. Sparks on my mind, I just talk about it. It's pretty, pretty, pretty open. So let me know right on here. And um, again, thank you so much for being checking out these episodes. And don't forget to subscribe again to the channel. It really, really helps. And pass, pass it around and, and share with people. Subscribe to the audio version. I know, I know a lot of people are listening on podcast format, you know, when they're going, doing somewhere, um, you know, doing home chores and stuff like that. They, they just put on podcast and listen. So I really, really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow for the next one. Hope you enjoyed this tip, huh? And I can stay in this two chord for like hours. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.